Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be focusing on flexural strength of plastics. So let's have a look at the flexural strength testing. The flexural strength of a material is defined as its ability to resist deformation under load. It's key to understand the highest flexural stress these materials can experience in order to manufacture durable goods and materials. So how does a basic flexural test work? A rectangular cross section of the desired testing specimen is rested on two supports and a force is applied by a loading nose midway between the supports. The specimen is deflected until rupture occurs in the outer surface of the test specimen or until a maximum strain of 5% is reached, whichever occurs first. The image at the top right hand side here shows the test setup with the loading nose pressing down midway on the test specimen which is clearly supported between the two rests. The bottom image is just indicating it is the outer surface that is expected to rupture. So how do we calculate flexural strength? So the following formula is used to calculate the flexural stress in a rectangular cross section. So it's flexural stress equals 3FL over 2BD squared. You can see the parameters of this formula here. On the right hand side, we just have an image showing those parameters with respect to the test setup. So let's have a look at some common materials and what their flexural strengths are. We can see here we've got the very common properties such as ABS at 75 megapascals. We've got uh, medium density polyethylene right down at 40 megapascals. And we have the polyamide imide plus a glass filled fiber right up at 270 megapascals. The rest of them you can have a look here in this table. So for more information on polymers, check out our other videos in this series. Once again, uh, thanks for listening. I'm Paul Adams from Softeast.